Hey everybody and welcome to Clawson World. I was not going to shoot this video, but I thought that, you know what? Again, not everybody has the same financial ability. And so I talk to you guys a lot about my coconut core and I don't have a wheelbarrow to move things around. I truly don't want a wheelbarrow. I actually have a garden cart. I'm just not using it at the moment but I am taking some coconut core and I have it down here at my feet I usually buy this coconut core you can get it online um, at Walmart I do believe you can also get this at amazon.com this will expand up to 2.25 cubic feet now what I normally do is I take an old bag an old soil bag this is a garden an old garden soil bag this is a two cubic feet empty bag I've already put that coconut core block in it I just put it inside of this bag now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill that full of rainwater not full but several buckets full maybe a third of the way full and let it fill up and loosen up that coconut core and if I need more water into it to uh, expand it more I put more water into it but I wanted to show you guys that because a lot of people they buy coconut core and they don't know where to put it they don't know what to use to expand it and you can use an old bag this is an old soil bag and that bl that brick and I'm going to show you that brick is inside this bag I am just going to pour water in this bag and let this expand and so now I don't have to worry about transferring this coconut core into anything else it's already going to be in the bag that I'm going to use when I need coconut core so let's get some water into this bag shall we I hope you guys can hear me the air conditioning unit just clicked on and right next to my favorite blue bucket is my big trash can let me show you guys right quick this is my big trash can this is a 45 gallon trash can that I got from you can get it from anywhere anywhere that's inexpensive that meets your budget needs I hope I'm talking loud enough so I take that trash can put it in the area in the yard where I know water is going to be able to easily fall into it when it rains I just take a bucket that you can get anywhere I got this from the bakery from that store right there it cost me a dollar I fill it full of water and I pour that into this bag while allowing that coconut core to expand I just pour it on top of the coconut core now I have been using this bucket so it's got some grapevine trimmings in there so I'm just going to get some more water and pour more water in the bag I'm just pouring it right on top of that that brick can you guys see that I'm just pouring it right on top of that brick just like so just like so and that was actually two and a half bucketfuls of rainwater and I'm gonna let this sit here and expand and then I'm gonna take a garden tool and prick it apart and if I lose any of that rainwater, guess what? It's going to go inside of my bucket. It's not going to spill and I'm not going to lose that valuable rainwater. And as I can see, there actually is a, a hole in my bag, which is fine. So I'm glad that I put that bag inside of my bucket because I can see water filtering out. But that's quite all right. If that water is needed, it will be wicked back up into this coconut core. So I'm just going to let this sit here and fill out and I will show you once it's all broken up what it looks like but this is an easy way to utilize that coconut core and that way you already have it inside of a bag you don't have to worry about transporting it into some other place where you can put it some other container it's already readily available and all you did was recycle a bag that you already had somewhere that you were about ready to throw away so that's how I do my coconut core 
Maybe this might help you in your new garden because I know there are a lot of new subscribers out there that have sub subscribed to me. They're brand new gardeners and they're looking for ways to not only save money, but to utilize what they have. And this is one way to do that. So I hope you guys heard me. I'll be back to show you what this looks like when the coconut core is fully expanded or expanded enough for you all to see it. So I'll be back shortly. While we're in intermission mode, I want to show you all this is my homemade compost. This is the compost that I showed you guys earlier this year that I put uh, chicken manure, um, guinea pig manure, guinea pig bedding, food scraps, as well as leaves. And this is what it turned out to be. There even is a little bit of um, wood chip in there, but this is my homegrown compost made with real chicken manure come straight from the chicken butt i've got a co-worker who has like 40 some odd chickens and she gave me uh, five and a half gallons of um, chicken manure and i let it compost down and that's what it looks like and that was in january so this is rotted down enough for what i need it for so chicken manure compost I bet you thought I was just going to tell you that I've got homemade chicken poop compost. No. I'm going to show you what I do with that homemade chicken poop compost. Do you see that? That nicely fresh black compost? That's my compost right there. What I do is I spread it on top of all of my potted plants mid-season. Well, it's a little bit over mid-season because we're at the end of August. And once I've done that, before the fall gets here, then I top my pots off with leaves, fallen leaves. If I don't have any leaf mulch, which mine is not ready yet, I just top it off with leaves. And then if I need to cover it up with a, a, a fleece blanket or uh, burlap, I do that as well. But I am trying to feed my plants because they've done so much for me thus far this season so i'm just trying to give them a little extra oomph to get them through the rest of the way so that's what i do with my homemade chicken poop compost and if you don't have anyone near you that you can barter to get free chicken poop from because believe it or not people who have chickens they are trying to get rid of their chicken poop and if they can give it to you more than likely they will uh, so make a friend like i did and get yourself some fresh chicken poop and make yourself your own compost that way that's not something you have to purchase and oh by the way I almost forgot another co-worker of mine just told me recently that he has 30 acres and he and his son have been asking me a ton of questions about gardening and how to grow food and he has pecan trees and I'll say that again because I think I might have flubbed it up when I was bending down. He has pecan trees on his land. And what he did this year in January was he gave me a whole bag of the pecan husks, not just the shells. My mom gave me shells because she also gets pecans and shells them. Uh, and I took the husks and I put those, those green husks inside of this compost bin, as well as the shells that my mom had shelled and I let that all sit and marinate to make me a beautiful, rich, black, as you can see, compost. So there are many ways to make compost, everybody. Don't throw away good resources when you could be making your own compost and feeding your own garden. That's the way to a healthy, healthy garden is your soil. And before I go, I just want to add, there was someone in the, the YouTube gardening family who had mentioned that they garden in Texas and that it is so hot in Texas that it's just too hot to garden and let me step back now some of my plants they do need some more feed which is why I'm feeding them right now so disregard some that look a little worse for the wear it's just that time of the year I've been trimming them back I've been staking them up and I'm feeding them some of them are getting more light than they had been getting um, previously but look at that on that end that's all Kentucky pole beans up there that's morning glories in kentucky pole beans i've got passion flowers i have grapes deep inside of there i've got um oh, what's that horseradish 
you can grow food in Texas. This poor tomato was a, I don't know how it got there. I didn't plant that. But of course it's, it's, it's too hot in Texas for that. So that's gonna come out. But I'm gonna show around that. These are herbs, that's cinnamon basil. I've got raspberries and blackberries and blueberries. I have uh, all kinds of food in here, moringa trees. I'm sorry I'm moving pretty fast, but there's so much I, I have in here that you can grow. This is Texas. You, you, you have to learn how to cover your food and make uh, zones for yourself. Of course, this all looks like it's too close to one another, but there is some space in between some of those pots to give it air. I've been trimming back, as you can see, to give it air. You can grow food no matter where you live, no matter where you are. I have grown food in Europe where we, we didn't get that much light. I couldn't grow that this much, but I did grow a little bit. I've got herbs in that pot. I have, of course, those are mums, but, and, and that's a cover crop that's uh, clover but I've got watermelon growing in there it's it got eaten up so it's probably not going to give me anything anything else this year but I have ginger just some of everything just this is a Jerusalem artichoke right here that's that's a bamboo just some of I'm gonna I use that as my 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 stakes to stake things up when they die but just so much you can do in in Texas this table is full of food from herbs to peppers to carrots to strawberries to beans so much you can do so much please don't don't be don't shy away and say oh I live in a place that's too hot there is a couple on YouTube I can't think of their YouTube channel right now but they're in uh, Los they're in Nevada in the desert they're growing food uh, there are people all across the globe in the UK in Africa they're growing food do not let where you live limit your ability to grow food figure out how talk to those around you talk to those in the gardening community on YouTube and figure it out because it's vital that you learn how to be one with the soil so that you also can have. That's my spiel for the day. We're gonna go over and see if that coconut core is ready so you all can see how I do my coconut core. I have moved the bucket because I lost light, but I wanted to show you guys, it's not completed yet. I think I got like the industrial sized compressed brick of coconut core, but I just want to show you that it's breaking down nicely. And so you can see there's a lot of water still in it. So it's going to take some time to break down. It's almost there, but not quite. But I just wanted to come and show you guys that if you don't have, like I said, a place to put all these things that you're seeing gardeners use, you can always recycle. Again, this is nothing more than an, a recycled soil bag that I, I've had in the shed for probably about two years. And now I'm using it as a coconut core bag. So whenever I need coconut core, I just write a little note on the bag. You can't see it because it's actually inside the bottom towards the bottom of the bucket it says coconut core and when I go to grab this bag I know exactly what's in it so for those of you who are looking for alternatives to recycle reuse save money uh, coconut core placed inside of a reused soil bag rehydrated and placed wherever you have your soil mixtures and um, fertilizers to me that's a great great recycle so I hope you guys enjoyed this video until the next time, bye.